What's going on, everyone? Uh, I'm late. I'm aware of that. Well aware of that. I'm also apparently too close to the screen and crooked. I set this up on uh, one of my armatures. Apparently, it's crooked. So don't know quite how to fix that. So I just I just lean the whole rest of the night for y'all. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? See, I'm sorry, I messed with stuff back there. Uh. What's going on, Mark Rose, Lucky Butter, Marcus D, Mr. Jones, Savage Saint, Jens, uh, Hieronymus, Matt Lodge 44. See, everybody, ha- Lucky Butter says, hope everyone had a great weekend. Hope everyone did. Uh, Savage Saint also says, what's up, everyone? Hope you all had a good week or two. So if you had a good one, sweet. If you had two, even better. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining in. Uh, this is the uh, only podcast featuring me as a host. I'm just gonna start saying to everybody that's like, oh, it's the only podcast coming at you live from blah 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 blah. I don't have anything to claim for that. So I can be like, it's the only podcast featuring me as the host. But um I was gonna try to get a special guest, but uh, as you saw, I was late. Anyways, um let's see. Doom by Nantan says, What up, Sonny? Oh, you're wearing that shirt. Yep, I am uh, representing for cups that keep your drinks cold. Uh, no, it's Austin FC, obviously. Uh, they lost today. Sad to report, they did lose one to zero against St. Louis. Um, yeah, against St. Louis. So they did. They did uh, lose. Mark Z says, unless your special guest is Sunny number two. I was going to set it up, but then I lost. I, I don't know what I do with my second phone. So I have no idea. I think I left it on the charger. but So I can't do that, unfortunately. I was going to try to set it up to have it. I don't know, to look at stuff. But um, unfortunately, y'all got to look at me. So here I am in most of my glory. Oh, let's see. Of course, of course, everyone. We're going to discuss X-Men 97. I don't want the waterworks to start, but I do know X-Men 97 will be coming up in the podcast. Podcast? Live stream? I call it live stream. In the live stream soon. Savage Saint says, Sonny, have you hit any more open mics? I have not. Um, I know I said I want to keep hitting open mics. It is tough. To hit open mics, mostly for the fact that it takes a big chunk out of my day to go sit at an open mic and hope that there are people there besides the other open micers to actually give that feedback that I'm looking for uh, from the new jokes that I want to start and stuff like that. Don't really get that here in Austin. A lot of times you get only other open micers, and sometimes they don't want to laugh at you because they don't want to say. A lot of people feel like if they laugh at another comedian, or I say a lot of people, some comedians feel that if they laugh at another comedian, they're trying to say that they're funnier than them or they're bowing down to them, which is stupid. You should you should be willing to be with funny comedians. That way, you have a full a full show full of entertainment so it sucks but hopefully uh i will hopefully try to hit some more open mics soon um i do i will tell you i'll tell you um i am gonna try to start hitting or signing up for the uh kill tony open mic so fingers crossed put that out there in the universe let's see how it works out hopefully i get picked soon so I'm not there signing up for the next four years before I get picked. But we'll see what happens. Mark C says, some news. X-Men 97 episodes 4 and 5. Giant Man plus Wasp 2-pack. Kilowag plus Kyle Rayner 2-pack out now. That episode was brutal. Everything went wrong real quick. Uh, Mr. Jones says, open mic is a new comedy coming soon uh, from Sonny Castillo and Mike Judge. Hey, you know, I think people have tried to capture that into a sitcom, and I don't think it's really worked out very well. 
Figure Report says, hey, that would be dope to see you on Kill Tony. Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, next Monday, I'm going to start trying to, to hit Kill Tony open mics so, or hit the hit the list because apparently they have like over 200 people sign up and they only pick a few. So we'll see what happens from it. I'll be watching going to say skip off to Sonny and folks. Sonny, what's going on with your attempt to do that Texas toy review show with what's his face? Yeah, um, our schedules were not lining up properly. We've had a lot of mismatching and such. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully one day we can break it back uh, with Screw Toys. We had the uh, Texas Toy Wranglers. It was cool. I liked it. It was fun. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot of mismatching. We we're like, oh, I could do this day. Or I couldn't do this day. One day, one day, it'll come back. <laughs> we'll hit that episode four one day. Savage Saints says, I think you crush on Kill Tony. Also, even if the set is just okay, you'll crush the interview. See, actually, that's what a lot of my fr- my comedy friends are telling me. They're like, they're like, you know, they're like, I think you'll do pretty good, especially with the interview, because you like to think on your feet and come up with stuff. So I'm like, all right, I mean, that would be cool. I, you know, uh, I, I like, I so I, I will admit, I hadn't really watched Kill Tony until like I think their New Year's Eve special at the beginning of the year. Like I, I put that on my watch later list and I started looking at it. I started watching, started catching up on a bunch of the episodes. And I like the show. I like the format. Um some of my comedy homies have been on it already. Uh there's also been people that I performed with that have also been on the show, like I've seen them. Man, I've performed like one or two shows with them. So I was like, oh, that's cool to see. And I actually, I caught half of the episode with uh, my comedy homie, Ariel Norman, who was actually a guest on Kill Tony, which was kind of cool. I was like, oh man, that's that's dope that he picked her. She's from here from Austin. And so it was cool to see her as being the actual guest and not just one of the people that was drawn from the hat or anything like that. So I didn't know that she had even done that. I think it was from like two years ago, maybe, or a year ago. But I just happened to catch it, and I was like, "Oh, cool!" So it's cool. To, I lo- I love seeing people that I know do big things like that. But yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, I'll come through. Uh, let's see. Oh, Savage Saint says gifted five the Sunny Channel memberships. Oh, all right. Oh, oh wait, that puts me on the spot because then I gotta make sure I produce all that membership channel channel membership content okay um shout out to savage saint for that and you know it's crazy youtube gave the creators access to do that but i have to be in youtube in order to do it i don't even know if i can do it for my phone but shout out to savage saint for doing that not sure how they get chosen but Shout out to Sab Saint. That's that's pretty dope. Um, what's this? Start. Oh, oh, okay. Huh. Just knew I could do that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, all right. I will get channel membership content. Make sure, make sure I get that out there. Um, but yeah, no. So, uh. Yeah, so I've seen my homies on there. I showed my wife, actually, uh, a friend of mine, Derek, he was on there. And uh, he did pretty good with the interview. I, I think they didn't know what to think of him at first when he came out. Then he did some jokes and stuff like that, and the interview went pretty good with him, too. Uh, so it was cool. I, I knew he had did the show. I just hadn't seen it yet. So I was able to catch that, too, which was dope. Lucky Butter says, I believe it chooses active people in the chat. Interesting. But yeah, that's cool. Let me see. Can I click it again? I click it. Hey, there we go again. Sweet. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to this stream yard. Uh, doing by 9000 says, any new pickups? That came in. Uh, we'll probably take a look at that later. Uh, what else was it? Yeah. Apparently, everybody loves that one. So, uh, let's see. Savage Saint says it's usually random. Just give it to the usual suspects. Just spreading the Sunford experience. 
Loki Loki says, what up, what up? New by 9000 says, what up, Lucky Butter? Happy Sunday. Um, no, but uh, are y'all ready to talk X Men ninety seven? I feel like I gotta get I gotta get my X Men figures. To... Oh, are, are, are we ready to do this? Ready to have this conversation? I was actually gonna do like uh, uh, you know how Wade has he puts on the the little was it the hat? Is it Chewbacca? I don't know what it's like a the hat that he puts on for his spoilers. I was gonna bring the spoiler from I think it was uh eighty six Camaro. I was gonna put it and have it in my hand like spoiler alert, this is what we're doing, but I couldn't find it. So plus I don't think it'll fit in frame. It was just like I'm holding a black board. But uh yeah, let's talk about some uh some spoilers. From the X Men ninety seven. Okay, is everybody good? Everybody good on it? Everybody saw episode four and five. What happened to the X Legends X Men border? Okay, so do by nine thousand. But glad you asked. I've been having to do these from my cell phone because my computer is on Windows seven. I never upgraded. And Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, they do not want to support Windows 7. So my computer still functions. I can still do everything with it. I could edit if I wanted to on there. I could create videos, create music, uh, use Photoshop, everything. But when it comes to using the Internet, it craps out everything. So. I can't use it, unfortunately, to live stream anymore. Um, I will be working to get another computer. I know uh, I used my kid's computer last time. I think it was last time. But uh, I didn't want to sit over there. So <laughs> I don't have the border right now. But uh, I actually have other borders that I created. And then I realized uh, Chrome and all the Windows, uh, all the Internet um, browsers, no longer support Windows 7. So I can't use it, unfortunately. One day, hopefully, we'll get it back. All right. Uh, Mark G says, go for it. Lucky Butter says, sounds like my 2011 MacBook Pro. I need a new computer. That's the bad thing. Like, I don't need a new computer. I've upgraded that several times. Everything. I just don't want to upgrade past Windows 7. I like Windows 7 for it. Um, but Chrome was like, no, get with the times. And then they crap it out like I filed my taxes on there and it took forever <laughs> because Windows Chrome takes forever to uh, to run anything. It's kind of sucked, but it still works. Um, let's see. Let's see. OK, hold on. I got Magneto. Uh, let's see where. Where is I got to get I got to get the. Oh, you know, we could we could talk about episode four, episode four first. Um, I was excited about the uh Mojo World. What was it? Uh, Motendo when Jubilee absorbed herself, or she got it was basically Jumanji but X Men like Jumanji X X Men Jumanji 97. That's what it was. Uh, Legbus says my computer is fine, but it can no longer support the updates from what Apple tells me. Yeah, see, it's stupid. They're like, oh no, we don't want it anymore. It's dumb. That's like if that's like if you were to get older and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go be a door greeter at Walmart. And Walmart's like, sorry, we don't like old people no more. It's exactly what happened. Uh, episode four had two storylines, right? Yeah, it had the it had the Mojo storyline and then the Creepy Forge storyline. Um. Which I was talking to one of my coworkers about it. He was like, well, he goes, okay, the Forge episode, he's like, is they truncated a lot of it. And, and so it it seemed weird in the cartoon, but it's not as weird in the comic books. I was like, all right, but it's not, it looked weird. Uh, Jumanji plus Tron plus X Men 97. Jumanji Tron 97. Jumanji 97. I'm trying to find 90, 97 Cyclops out in the wild. Haven't been lucky enough so far. He's the only one I've never seen in the wild. 
I saw Madeline Pryor. I saw the Executioner. I saw. Actually, I haven't seen Night uh, Nightcrawler in the wild either. I saw I saw like Rogue Gambit. I saw I saw all the Wave One. Uh, wave Two though, I have. Um, yeah, I think Nightcrawler and Cyclops are the only two that I hadn't seen yet. But the Mojo World episode, I thought it was cool, but it ended so fast. Like I didn't know they were gonna mash it in with the Storm Forge. Uh, I didn't know they were gonna forge the two episodes together. I don't. I actually, I don't think they used that word right. But <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I I I wished for more of it. Uh, Old Man Jubilee was pretty cool. Uh, it was cool to see her in that episode. I had a feeling it was Old Man Jubilee. Like when it was like, oh, what's going on? Oh, she's at it again. Oh, I was like, there's got to be an Old Man Jubilee situation. But I did like the episode. I like I like the swole uh, mojo. I hope we get that in action figure form. Uh, then he let it all go. Like if he got married. Mark Z says it was cool that they brought the OG voice actress of Jubilee in that episode. That was cool. Madlodge 44 says right now seeing M version Magneto and Executioner sitting here. Everything else is selling that. Yeah, Magneto I keep seeing everywhere too. Uh yeah, but no, I've I have not seen Cyclops anywhere. I know he I know he I figured he would be a I figured after episode one, he would sell out really quick. I think they released the first wave too soon. I think if they had waited to release the first wave after the first episode showed up, none of them would have would have uh, survived the stores. Like I think they said that Wolverine is going for like forty five bucks right now, forty five fifty dollars, which to me is crazy because it's crazy because it's Wolverine. Like there's a ton of Wolverines out there, so it's crazy to see that that one in particular is going for that cost. Because it's not like Weapon X. It's not like a, a different version of Wolverine that there's no other version of. Like, There's plenty of the Tiger Stripe ones. But, uh, but yeah, so Mojo World was cool. Very short. They resolved that way too quick. Um, it's almost like they used the Contra code or Konami code and ended way too fast. I thought that fool was dead. Uh, sunspot when he was like blinking. She was like, oh, he's dying. I'm like, that? I was a child of the 80s and 90s. When you blink like that, that fast, and you're laying on the ground and not moving, you're dead. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I think he's dead. Then he came back to life because old man Jubilee saved him. But uh, Dumont Nathan says, I enjoyed the Motendo episode. X-Men, X-Men. I did too. I just wish it was longer fleshed out. I thought it would have been way cooler. Mr. Jones is going on. Says, I got my 97 Cyclops from Amazon a few weeks ago at retail, but I put the VHS head on mine. That's what I heard a lot of people did. Savage says, great head scope, updated tooling on the Wolverine, though. Ah, true. Yeah, they're, they're uh, getting a lot better with the head sculpts and stuff. Marvel Legends team. Uh, shout out to them. If they're watching. If they're one of the 12 people watching, shout out to them. If they're not one of the one of the 12 watching, no shout out to them. I already gave it though. I don't think I can take it back. Okay. Shout out to that team though. Um, Dan said, save your bread. Um, I think they got some other announcements coming. But Mo the Motendo uh episode was cool like i said because you got to see mojo spiral looked dope on well i know because uh morph turned into spiral briefly uh but seeing her actually in b spiral that was kind of cool um the forge storm episode seemed uh i don't want to say the word so we'll spell the word uh, R A P R A P E Y seemed a bit right there. Uh, I normally I would say the word, but YouTube's like, ah, we're not gonna give you 14 cents for this episode. So, hey, Plasty, what's going on, man? We're just talking about uh, 
Questionable Forge on the X-Men 97 episode four. Uh, I thought he was going to give her episode her, her powers like, here, here you go. But instead he was like, have my babies. I'm like, whoa, 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 Forge. Pump the brakes there, buddy. Like he was just like, oh, you're a friend of Charles. You're a friend of mine. I don't know if he was trying to bang Professor X. That's kind of what it seemed like after he said that. And it was like trying to get it on with Storm. So it's kind of bizarre. Bizarre behavior. Plus, he says, hey, cherish those 14 cents. I live for those cents, man. That's what I'm saying. I can't say certain things because then YouTube will keep my 14 cents. No, but here's four cents instead. Yeah. Neither did a dime. Mr. Jones says that Forge Storm episode is based on an actual story from the comics. That's what I was told. I was told that by a co-worker. He said it's more fleshed out. So, uh, <laughs> Matt Logic 44 says he's known as the maker. Baby maker, maybe. Maybe. He, can, he can't give her powers back, but he sure can give her a bun in the oven. Mark Z says, I'm trying to remember if Forge was shown in the concept art before the show came out. I wonder if it'll pop up in Wave 3. I want Booty Shorts Forge in Marvel Legends form. That's I put that. I tagged Ryan Ting and I tagged Dan Yoon. I said, the world needs Booty Shorts Forge. Don't give me Forge in costume, in X-Men costume or whatever. We need Booty Shorts Forge. Which is crazy. It was X-Men 97. That was clearly wa- rocking 1985 shorts. Savage Saint says they chopped the life death story up pretty good. Most of it felt like plot hints and development. It, they did, but it was still, he came off really weird. It's like that one time um, I gave this girl a ride from, we worked at Target and she didn't have a car because her car was always messed up. And I was like, you need a ride. I got my got my car here if you need a ride home. And she was like, oh, thank you. That'd be nice. I was like, all right, cool. So we go to her house. She's like constantly talking over the music the whole time. And I was like, I don't know if you know this, but I think you saw me tear open the cellophane from that CD and put it in my deck. Like, that's a new CD I was trying to listen to. And you're talking over the music the whole time. She's talking over the music the whole time. I pull it to her house. She's still talking. And then she looks at me and says, don't take this the wrong way. You're a nice guy, but I'm not, you're not my type. And I was like, what? I was like, please leave my car. Like, I, I did nothing to say that I was interested in you. No idea where that came from. She forged me. That was a forge move right there. I had no idea. She had that weird thought in the back of her head. But I was like, that's that's kind of what I felt when Forge was all like, Storm. Let's make babies together. And I was like, whoa, hey, 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 Forge, uncalled for. Out of out of pocket. Let's just take it easy. That's what I felt like. I felt that same cringiness right there. Uh, let's see. Mr. Jones says, I think a lot of the dialogue is the same, too. Only different thing. Different is Forge's home. I'm sure we'll get a 97 Bastion, Forge, Beast, Morph, and Sinister soon. Mark G says, Booty Shorts, Forge. Reason the, <laughs> Reason the 90s Jubilee or Bathrobe, Deadpool Shorts. Plasti says, hey, giving her the powers back is after putting the bread in the oven. You know how boys, girls, relationships work, right? That's true. Uh, <laughs> so I was saying, so you definitely should have married her. Shouldn't have married her then. I didn't marry that. <laughs> that one I didn't marry. That one, had, oh my goodness, dude. She dated some other people that we worked with at Target. Yeah, it was a mess. It was insane. Clockwork Gorgeous, what's going on, man? Says, Sep Sonny, dope shirt, kind of tacky, but you pull it off. I ride as well. I was like, this is, a, this is a pretty tacky shirt. And in case you want to know, I actually don't. I think we own one Yeti. Yeah, we might own one Yeti. So I was going to be like, I don't even own Yetis. I, I think we own one. Uh, Mr. Jones says, Forge Diddy. 
through my 9,000 says, you didn't regulate. I almost did. Uh, yeah, it was just like, oh. although I did learn, never ask her if she needs to ride home again. <laughs> the next time we worked together and I was like, I'm not even going to ask her. It's going to get weird again. And so I was like, she's going to have to wait for her mom. <laughs> so was, that's all I can say. Forge Diddy. Man, yeah, but yeah, now that that episode was it was kind of was kind of weird, kind of weird. All right, let me see, let me see. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. We gotta get these. We gotta get these other ones here. Oh, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at, sugar? Okay. All right, gotta get sugar here. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else is involved in this whole ordeal? Get this guy. This guy involved as well. What do we got here? What do we got? All right. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Mr. Jones, poor Epstein. Are we ready to talk about it? What do I do with Mankito? Okay. So here comes Magneto. Hey, everyone. I am the leader of X-Men because Charles Xavier wanted me to be. I would be a prick if I would not take a dead man's request. So he's running the X-Men, right? Cool. He's like, we should go over to the island of Genosha, see how things are going. Uh, <laughs> the savage faces they didn't seem to be, they didn't seem to be on Forge Island, right? They were on Forge Island. Nobody else was around. Nobody else knew about it. Uh, Mr. Jones says, "Watch tomorrow's Hasbro stream to be a bath way for '97 with the bath adversary." Uh, they should have Leech. Someone put on uh, on Facebook. They're like, "Which ones do y'all want to see?" And uh, I'm sorry if that was one of y'all that posed that question. And I just made y'all voice sound like that. But I did say Leech. Leech would have been cool. All right. So back to the island of Genosha. I will be. Well, he didn't say he would be president. They were like, you should be president. I will be president only if Rogue will be my queen. Oh, sugar. You shouldn't have asked. Right. So that happened. Okay. Uh, Yeah. See. Let me see. Clockwork Gorgeous says, how much do you like that figure? Is it worth compared to the Moffex? I don't have the Moffex one, but this is a pretty good figure. I do like this one a lot. I've heard the Moffex is like the top tier Magneto, but I didn't get him. But I think I think this is worth it. I, think I, like, I really like this one. I It would be cool to have a soft goods cape with wires to make it look all flowy. Uh, maybe one day. Mark C says they made Genosha look beautiful, but a little bit like Wakanda. They did kind of make it. I was like, well, this is supposed to be okay, whatever. It looked like a modern day thing. Yeah, see? Need the uh, need leech? Okay, so Magneto like, only a rogue will be my bride, my queen, to rule Earth with me. Uh rule Genosha with me. Oh shook. And then she was like, oh, Suge number two, I got something to talk about. I just want to be touched by a man. And only Magneto's magnetism can let me touch him because of the magnetic force and the barrier that it provides. It keeps me from absorbing all his powers. Don't listen to the X-Men movie where he touched me and I get my white hair from him. And he's like, hey, what's going on, Plunderlings? Uh, <laughs> I feel like I have like 80, 80 what is it, ADHD? <laughs> like, what am I? oh, hey. Uh, so, all right, so. And the gap was like, oh, Rogue, I understand. And like, he can't touch her. I would have been dope, though, if he like touched her and gave her his powers. He was like, boom, go kill Magneto, and then we'll take over as king and queen. Uh, <laughs> See, Exodus dancing <laughs> randomly. 
Uh, it's getting hot in here. Is this top secret sunny screenplay for the newest X Men episode? It might be. Uh, pull out your multiple man and recreate the dance he was doing. Oh, I didn't get multiple man. I didn't get multiple man. But uh, Gambit was a oh man, I got a white suit for him. Let's get a white suit for Gambit. Gambit needs a white suit. White suit Gambit. This might work out. This might work. It might not. This head might be too big. Let's see. I'm still bootleg Moon Knight's head or body. And use some sticky tech. I just want to be as accurate as possible for the people who haven't seen the episode. And uh, I'm just going by with what I'm saying. There we go. All right. So now he's all like, Oui, oui, mon ami. Uh, Parlez-vous français, pepe le pu. Oh, Gambit, thank you for understanding, Shug. And then Magneto's like, All right, we got this. We're going to rule. And then that's where did my sentinel go? I have a sentinel here. All right, let's get this sentinel here. I will just use the head. Then the sentinel comes off. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, let's see where we're at. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Jones says, I saw someone use the Moffix Gambit head on the white suit Deadpool body a few days ago. Yeah, I saw someone use the, the actually, the Legends head. And I've seen someone use the Mezco head, too. Yeah, the Moffix head has such a small little peg that it doesn't quite fit. So, that's probably why. We need that plasty Spanish dub of this <laughs> pure telenovela X drama here. That's right. It should have aired the Sunny version. Oh, don't forget Banshee. Yeah, Banshee got murdered. Uh, <laughs> like, it was just murder people left and right. But anyway, it was the Sentinels like, yeah, yeah. Omega level mutant. <laughs> and Magneto was all like, ah, no, don't do it. Don't kill us. He was like, here's my force field. Ah. The force field collapsed just like that. And uh, so he died, right? And then Gambit, Gambit went out like a G. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was also kind of messed up because Rogue was all like, oh, they killed Eric. Oh, why? And then, but like they were like strapped to the pole because Magneto strapped them to the pole at first, so that way he didn't, they didn't go after die. But she knew what she was like. No, Gambit was like, no, mon ami. Chases after her on a motorcycle. Ends up. Oh, let me see. I should probably have like prepared for this better than just been like, oh, I'll just grab stuff when it comes along. So anyways, Gambit gets stabbed in the stomach right in the, between the fifth and fourth rib cage. I don't know. I don't know math. I mean, I don't know anatomy. So he gets stabbed. He's like, oh, and you think he's dead. And then it's uh, his head falls off in the middle of the episode. All right, so his head stays on. And he supercharges up and then he touches his arm and he blows up the whole sentinel spider thing that they had, which is crazy enough. Um, but he died. And it was very, very sad. And he smacked her with that motorcycle. Oh, he did smack her with the motorcycle. Magneto was dope in this fight scene, though. No, Magneto, Magneto held his own. I will agree. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Joe says, I feel like I'm watching an episode of Corazon Valiente X-Men Edition. 
Gambit's only vocabulary is limited to Mon ami and Bebe Le Pew, according to Sonny. <laughs> yes, that's what he said. I was pretty sure. That moan had me frantically finding the lower <laughs> volume button. <laughs> uh, but anyways, then Cable comes out. He's like, uh, who, who's your cable provider? Come with me. I can get you lower rates and better channels and better reception. And who is your cell phone company as well? And she's like, oh, no. I don't have Madeline Pryor. I passed on her. I picked her up off the shelf. And I was like, eh, I put her back. <laughs> so I don't have Madeline Pryor. Um, but she was like, oh, Miko, you came back. I don't know where she got Mexican all of a sudden. She's like, Miko, you came back. He's like, come with me, mama. We have to go. And so they left. There you go, the Bonnet does cable guy. Or Tierra de Pasiones. So, yes. Very exciting. Uh, like the episode was crazy, too, because, like, I was watching it. I was, like, in line at my kid's school waiting for him to get out. And I was like, man, let me just catch this X Men 97 episode. And someone did ruin it on, on, on Facebook. And they try to say there was not a spoiler alert. And it clearly was a spoiler alert. They were like, no spoilers, but the price of Gambit's about to go up. I was like, oh, great. Gram- Gambit dies in this episode. I was like, there's only one reason that an action figure's price will increase. It's when that character dies. And I was right. Gambit died. And the guy, I told the dude, I was like, dude, you kind of spoiled it just by saying Gambit's name. He was like, I didn't tell you what happens. I was like, dude, you can figure it out when you say what you said. He was like, oh, you figured out the whole plot from what I said? I'm like, no, man, just basics. He's going to, like, I knew he was, I didn't want to put it in the thing, in the chat. But, like, before I watched the episode, I was like, Gambit dies because of this dude right here. Mark C says, I was worried for Nightcrawler by the end of the episode. Yeah, I thought, I was like, oh, man, they killed Nightcrawler right away? Like, ah, dang. This Joe says, the last episode took a lot of stuff from the E is for Extinction Story 2, minus Cassandra Nova. Gambit's still $25 on Amazon. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I didn't see his price go up. But, uh, I mean, I don't know that the X-Men 97 Gambit is much different from the other two Gambits that already were out. <laughs> Marcus he says that is Sylvester Stallone impression. I have I am horrible with imperson impressions. Uh someone one time told me that they're like, why don't you do impressions when you're on stage? And I'm like, I don't I can't do impressions. I can only pretend that I can rap like other rappers while they're rapping along and then I listen to myself and I'm like I sounded nothing like them. I don't know why I keep doing that weird voice. Like Butter says, or when someone random some random person in Hollywood says they're going to make a movie or show of that character. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the other time the prices will go up. Well, in Moon Knight, that Walgreens Moon Knight shot up past 100 bucks at that one point when the show came out, or when the show was about to come out. That was crazy. I was like, that's a bit insane. Um, Doombot 9000 says, Doombot 9000 says, and Mr. Jones, yep, as soon as we saw Genosha, I had a feeling they were going to adopt that storyline. Marcy, I can't do impressions. You're telling me you haven't nailed the Richard Simmons impression. I have not. I've never I've never had to try to do Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons is a weird isn't that a weird person? He's a uh, he's an oddball character. We'll say that. Um I always like seeing him on different uh like talk shows and stuff though, because his his expressions were hilarious all the time. Because they were always over exaggerated, which is funny. But apparently now he's like chunky and bald. So uh, he could be he could be a toy collector at this point. Uh, <laughs> all the chunky bald guys are like, we're not all like that. Uh, Mr. Jones says, the Dubai 9000, yeah, I think they're going to use Bastion or Apocalypse in place of Cassandra for it in the end, though. Ooh, interesting take. Like Butter says, and then that figure went back down a few months before the Target one ever got announced. A true roller coaster of value. Yeah, it did. It went. It went down. Actually, it didn't. The 
the Mezco version one shot up, but that one hasn't really come back down as much as the uh, Walgreens Moon Knight. But uh, I heard a lot of people had issues trying to find a Target one. I saw them a bunch of times. I just I didn't get it because I already had the other one, and it just it was a exact re-release if I'm not mistaken. Miss Jones says since we've seen Bastion twice now. I think they should give Bastion's voice like uh, uh, they should have made it Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. I think any character they should all have a Jamaican crab. That's all I'm saying. Every show should have a Jamaican crab somehow. Um, I want to see Pixar pop in to the X-Men somehow. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I'd like to see that. Oh, uh, but yeah. So episode five, oh. tugged on the heartstrings. So Gambit died, Magneto died. It was just crazy because like everybody was like Gambit died, but did he? I don't know. Like the Sentinel literally said, Omega level mutant. What is it? Eliminated? Something like that? Executed? Killed? Something? So like Magneto died. And, uh, but they didn't say Gambit died. I mean, but everybody was tripping out with Gambit. Everybody was like, ah, Magneto could have died. Mm. They didn't care. Like, y'all don't care. Now, the only person that can look after the X Men is going to be uh, Cyclops. He's all like, oh, Gene, I don't know if I love you or if I love Madeline. I don't know who I've made these memories with. I just know I miss my kid. I'm like, dude, you know him for like a day, man. Like, how much do you miss? No, I'm just kidding. That's messed up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Lucky Butter says, I was just, I was just a reissue, the same as Kingpin now. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, King Kingpin is a straight reissue, even the same packaging, though. Mr. Jones says, well, his name is Sebastian Gilberti. You should have auditioned. That's what I'm talking about. He should have had a Jamaican accent. Mark C says, the council died. Sebastian Shaw, Moira McTaggart, Banshee, Callisto. Oh, Callisto died. That's right. They showed her like. I was like, dang, they just killed her like that. Guess I won't go look for the Marvel Legends at version of her Madeline Pryor and I think Emma Frost too I'm sure Cable is going to do some weird time travel thing that undoes a lot of the deaths but the first trailer for the series did show them lowering a casket in the ground so that could be anyone <laughs> Mark sees a screenshot uh, see there you go <laughs> It's so much better. Down with it's weather. Jamaican crabs rule. Uh, that was my Jamaican accent, by the way. Uh, if y'all couldn't tell. Or if you are Jamaican and you're like, holy crap, am I back home? Thank you. Thank you for for being confused. Dumanantan says, I've heard but the Bastion speculation, but not Apocalypse. I don't remember seeing Bastion in that episode. I heard Apocalypse. Although people like to lie on the internet, um, on the internet it says that I'm five nine. I'm actually five ten. I only know that I'm five ten because when I stood next to Royce the five nine, I was like, oh, <laughs> look at this little fella. He must be five nine. But yeah, that episode was a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, I hope everybody was able to sleep comfortably that night um but yeah i don't think Gamba, i don't i don't think Gamba's dead you heard it here first uh i don't know you might have heard it somewhere else but you heard it here first on this live stream but yeah i don't, I don't know Gamba may what have we been what have we been weeping and crying um contemplating about life and Gamba's not even dead what if only Magneto's dead and nobody nobody went in like, oh man, Magneto action figure is gonna go up in cost. They're like, Gambit's gonna go up in cost. Mark G says episode five made me dislike humans. Mm. 
there's a lot more that can make you dislike humans. Miss Jones says, "Do my thousand. The first time we see Bastion was in the photo at Forge's place. I think that was Bastion in the foreground in the last episode when around the time Magneto walked into the ballroom. Savage says, the show was so good, it reminds me why I like the comics. The show reminds me of why I always wanted the comics. My parents were like, no, go play outside with these marbles here. I got you some more marbles. I'm like, dad, these aren't marbles. These are ball bearings that you probably took from something that now no longer works. He said, yeah, they're round. Pretend they're marbles. Like, that is a true story. He gave me steel ball bearings instead of marbles. And none of my friends liked to play with me because when I would shoot my marbles, my my marbles, they were steel ball bearings. And so it would crack their marbles like it was nothing. Uh, funny for me, not so funny for them because they would, you know, be out of glass marbles at that point. Uh, like, I didn't even realize that's probably why they didn't like playing all the time. Because they're like, oh, Sonny has ball bearings and they ain't real marbles. Which they were really hard to shoot because they're really heavy compared to actual marbles. Did y'all play marbles or am I just talking crazy right now? Some of y'all are like, I think Sonny lost his marbles. We have no idea what he's talking about. We used to play marbles back in the day. There was two types of marbles we would play. We would put like a string in a circle or shoelace in a circle, put marbles in there and try to knock them out with the shooters or my favorite version of it was where we put four holes like that, like baseball diamond almost. And in the middle is a poison hole. I used to love playing at those, uh, that version of marbles. Mark C says, I lost track of this plot point. Not gonna, <laughs> no, man, it was cool. Though. I like playing marbles. It sounds like very poor person thing to say. I used to love throwing a little ball at other balls. I used to love hitting your balls with my balls. Basically is what I just said. Do my nothing else says I really enjoyed the tone episode five had when Gaka hit the fan, the background music stopped and it was all action. That was yeah, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Mark C says, leave my balls out of this, Sonny. Mr. Jones says, marbles was rich folk stuff. We had to play with jacks and the red ball that came with them for a dollar. Oh, man, I wish I had jacks. I couldn't ever get jacks. But like I said, I didn't have marbles. I had ball bearings that my dad took from something. Uh, <laughs> Awkward Gorge says, pause. You know what? Get your minds out of the gutters, guys. Now, uh, no, no, but like uh so who I feel like Nightcrawler has now a larger role going forward. So that's going to be interesting. And Cable. Cable's now there. So that'll be cool. Um, what else was there? Those three the other X Men were just at home chilling, watching it on TV. Uh, <laughs> Savage Saint says, "Young Saint was running around with a knife and a sack of ball bearings." He goes, "Austin beat down." <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, it was like, yeah, that's that's the way they would do it. That's the way. I, uh, that's why. That's how I rolled. Don't give me some cargo pants. I might have ball bearings in there. Clark Gorge says they might need to bring back Bo and Mayo back. Just don't let them do interviews. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Why did they? Uh, well, I heard that they that they canceled him. Well, they didn't cancel him, but they fired him because he had like an OnlyFans. I'm like, what? What does it matter? See, look at that. Doombot nine thousand says, oddly enough, I have a small box full of ball bearings somewhere. Bow and Jake cameo during the attack. Mark Z says, I wonder how Storm's arc will tie into whatever's going on in the main story. Like. If they'll get forged to work with Bishop Cable, to time travel change history. I think Forge will be like, we lost Rami Storm. We got to make a new Rami. I have to impregnate you, Storm. And she's going to be like, Forge, again, I cannot express this enough. You're not going to get me pregnant. 
And he's like, we have to try. We have to try. Dumanata says, we talked about the director last stream. Did we talk about him? I can't remember. Yeah, we did. Okay, all right. Uh, but yeah, maybe. Well, oh, he had finished season two. I think he finished season two and he was working on season three. Bo was the producer, writer. I thought he was the director. I don't know. I just thought it was funny that he was retweeting everything. Oh, yeah, I do remember. I remember saying that now. Uh, yeah, Bo. Good old Bo. I don't know. He could have been a horrible person. And I'm so here like, good old Bo. Oh, give him a chance. All right. So, uh, oh, Mr. Joe says, you used to talk to him all the time on Instagram Messenger. Oh, what? And he stopped talking to you. It's messed up. Clockwork Gorge says, what happened to that? What happened to Bo? Bo. Bo knows uh, he got the shaft. Not ball bearings. Straight up shaft. Uh, but now, but uh, see, my thing was I thought uh, whoever runs the X Men TAS, I thought they were the ones who wrote, directed, did everything for it. I was not sure how big the team was. Miss Jones, ha! Now he was cool with me. Ask him what happened. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, Mr. Jones, get the scoop. Ask him what happened. No, but uh, yeah, no, it was a. Uh, he did good work, whatever he did on it. I mean, if he, he was part of the team that got this one together, so that was cool. Uh, but also, if you don't watch the X Men 97 show before noon on a Wednesday when it comes out, avoid social media. People were spoiling it like crazy. I didn't want to spoil it. So I had to like dance around what I was saying and stuff. I did not go post pictures of Gambit. Everybody was like, picture of Gambit, RIP. And other people were like, oh, great. I haven't seen the episode yet. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what, what, I don't know what possesses people. To want to be like, I have to spoil this for everyone. I have to pretend like I was the first person that knew. The only way I I can do that is by spoiling it for everyone. It's kind of weird. Mr. Jones says, X-Men Thass is Julia and Eric Leewald. And they worked on the original. But like they're like consulting. Consulting? Consulting. <laughs> what is it? Con- it's consulting, right? Like insulting. Not like consultation, consulting on 97. Okay. Yeah, because they were reposted. They reposted what I had posted about it too. And they were reposting a lot of stuff. But they were also we're, we're aware of not posting any spoilers, which is cool. Winger Lose, what's going on, man? He says, hello. What the hell? Wait. Uh, we're talking about Bo Bridges and. Uh, the Bridges of Madison County. Actually, no, we're talking about X Men '97. If you haven't seen it, brace yourself. Spoiler alert: Gambit wears a white suit. Hey, <laughs> I was like, hey. If he did perish, at least he perished in a nice suit. That's all I'm saying. Um, but no, yeah, I, I think he's alive. Okay, cool. He says it's all caught up with X-Men 97. All right. I think Gambit might be alive. I think he's going to pop up in the next episode all beat up and everything. Bruised. Maybe. Maybe. Hold on. Maybe we'll get a translucent pink Gambit. He'll be all energy. And then they'll put that in the X-Men 97 wave number three. All pink, translucent, fully energized gambit with a thing in his side. Uh, Bo was all over X Twitter confirming death counts. Dang it. I need to follow that guy. Yeah, they were killing. Do you know what the final uh, final numbers were? They were killing everybody in that episode. 
Mark Z says, Gambit's outfit does look like he's about to drop the hottest sermon of all time. Right. That's what I'm saying. But he wasn't even dressed for a Diddy's white, white party. What is it called? Diddy's uh, white. It's called white, white party. White. That party where Diddy makes everywhere, everybody wear white. Looks like that's where Gambit came from. Not our 101. What's going on, man? Says, shoot, not after how much Rogue was rubbing on him. If he's still alive, Gambit is at a coma. <laughs> That's right. That's right. She couldn't feel his life force. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, what if Gambit, his energy transferred to the Sentinel and now he's a Sentinel? I would, I would love a Gambit Sentinel. In case anybody from Hasbro's listening, smack that Gambit Sentinel and a leech figure. Ms. Jones says, Bo also said episode eight is the real gut puncher, not this last one. Man. Now I'm like, what could they do? What could they do? Maybe that's when Professor X comes back. I don't think Professor X is dead. I think he's pulling all the strings. What if Professor X is the real bad guy? And he tricked Magneto and taking over the X-Men. So they can kill off all the X-Men one at a time. Ooh, man. Mark C says, the Sentinel rises up and he says, Mon ami. <laughs> he says, Pepe le pew. Pew, 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 pew. Mr. Jones says, Dan did kind of mention he wanted to revisit the Sentinels somehow. I hope they make the Sentinels from uh, Days of Future Past the Fox movie. No, those are terrible. Please don't ever do this. Uh, those zombie looking sentinels were cool. Maybe we'll get some of that. What if, you know, I'll be cool with if they just released extra sentinel heads. Because, like, some of us have sentinels. Mine is over there wearing a cowboy hat and a gold chain. But some of us have sentinels, and it's like, that would be cool to have just different heads. They brought out different heads. <laughs> Marcus U says, Mona Me in binary code. Wingaloo says, I mean, Rogue. Could have used one of those F <laughs> F O H. I almost said what that stood for, but I can't because uh, YouTube uh, F O H Friends of Humanity neck gizmos and touchy touchies gambit. That is true. It'd be like on Coneheads where they had the sensor rings. That'd be her non sensor ring. She wouldn't be able to touch or she wouldn't be able to absorb. That's a good point, man. We could lose just hitting on the hit the nail on the head right there. Ro could have used a choke collar, paint it black, put a chain on it, whatever, make it spice it up for the bedroom. Could have used that. That is a very good point. <laughs> Friend out of here, says Mark C. Dubon says different color sentinels from the Motendo episode would be cool. That would be cool, too. I don't know how many they would do, though. There we go, Mr. Jones. T.O.H. Tuck out of here. <laughs> See? Win or lose. You get it. Take it a choker. That's all you got to do. Bedazzled, depowering. Collar is wild. <laughs> Can you imagine that's what she did? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, but, yeah, no, she could have she used that. That's a very good point. They could have little gambit rogue babies. They could have all like Mona Me Shug. Oh, what? Let's see. Tuck out of here at GameStop meant that meant title on hand. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? That's right. It did mean that. Back in my EB Games GameStop days. Titles on title on hand. Winger loose is another option. If Rogue, <laughs> if Rogue Gambit, hang on to more like Leech. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that their swingers are necessarily looking for a third party, but that is a valid option as well. <laughs> I like that Winger loses thought about this. He's like, hold on, hold on. I got how, how can this work? And he's like, well, okay. 
They can use the, the choke collar, okay? Or leech is involved somehow. <laughs> so this is a very good point. And it, <laughs> leech would be like, go ahead, Gabby. Leech is grabbing the booty. And he's like, hey, whoa. Oh, mon ami, Leech, what are you doing here? I think Gamer should just say Mona Me at before everything. Mark Z says, stop. <laughs> this is uh, X Men 97 uh, erotic fan fiction. Uh, <laughs> Mr. John says, every time Rogue and Gambit want to bang, bang, they got to touch Leech before they start. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a solid job for Leech to have, you know? It's better than like. Making a lemonade stand. Uh, <laughs> Marcus, he says, no. We have to have this fan fiction erotica X-Men 97. Very, very valid points. Marcus, he says, Leech suffered enough. Leech might enjoy it. You don't know. I mean, Leech is what, like three foot tall? I don't think he's going to get many ladies. See? Winger Loose has it down. Leech, mon ami, get over here. <laughs> Doom by 9000, exactly. Job security right there. Boom. He'd be part of an, he'd be kind of an X-Men. He'd be like a lowercase X-Men. Marcy says he literally died for his sins. Leech is the key to a rogue gambit baby. Marcus, see, I don't like that you're against babies. That's uh, that's not very humanly. Savage Saint says, I, <laughs> I can see more becoming Leech as a recurring gag. Meanwhile, Leech is there with his gag like, oh, is Leech going to use this today on Gambit? Gambit's like, more than me, you're supposed to only touch Rogue. But yeah, no, it was a uh, man. See, now I got this in my head that this totally could have happened. And Mark C is trying to break up this relationship. Mark C says, not the gag. Winger Loose says, after watching the boys, any shapeshifters are ruined for me. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, <laughs> that was gross. Uh, or even what was that one? Um, not the boys, but the spinoff show. Um, where that one was like a shapeshifter's turn to a dude and a girl. How old was that one? Not the boys. What was it called? The co- the boys, the college years. Gen V. That's the one I'm thinking. I I say everything the college years because it's Saved by the Bell. I assume everything is the college years. Mr. Jones says rogue leech should is what. <laughs> It's wearing off, getting you quicker than a hog in the hedges. See, Mr. Jones ended up writing that book. And Mr. Jones, <laughs> please make that cover for Marcus Yee. <laughs> Just Gambit and Rogue and Leech in the middle. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus Yee says, the boys, the college years. Le Mafo. Of the boys sitcom. And play that Jerry Seinfeld beat every time the show starts. That would be so cool. Miss Joe says, yeah, the boys and Jimmy messed me up with shapeshifters. I mean, they they make a good point about the shapeshifters, though. Uh, the boys messed me up about Ant-Man. I'm like, whoa, what is that fool capable of now? Him and the Wasp. <laughs> Mr. Joseph says, haha, no, I'm friends with Lenore, Rogue's voice actors. I won't be doing any of that. <laughs> there we go. Very cover, exactly. Marcus e says, let me fool. Sounds like something Gambit would say. He would. He would say that. Uh, no, but, uh, <laughs> um, 
Okay, so got to make this fan fiction now. Okay, shout out to Winger Lose for throwing those ideas to everybody's head, bringing it to the light that this could have been something that could have happened. But Bo, Bo wouldn't give it to us. Maybe that's why they booted him. They're like, Bo, we've seen your OnlyFans, fool. We know what you know how this works. Give us this leech, rogue, gambit, love triangle. Oh, hey, if Dan or Ryan or um, anybody from Hasbro is watching right now, we need a new love triangle pack, gambit, rogue, and leech. Go ahead and throw one of those choke collars in there. Mr. Jones says, oh, yeah, that shrinking girl messed me up, too. Dude, all of them, man, it's so weird. Clockwork Gordon says, it's a shame that one of the main characters for in Gen V legit died. Who, who died in Gen V? I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't even hear about that. See, exactly, Savage saying, new love triangle. New love triangle. So, <laughs> so many love triangles. It's like one of those pictures you see on Facebook. How many triangles? It's going to have Gambit, Rogue, Leech, Wolverine, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Madeline Pryor. Who else is involved? Magneto. Throw him in the mix. But <laughs> I, need, I need a Leech figure now. Dang it. I need a Leech figure. Let's see. I think Krillin might have to stand in for Leech. Um, it'd be like, ah. Oh. There we go. All right, Marcus, you asked for it. It's going to happen. If Krillin can stand in for Leech, it's happened, okay? You're going to see it happen on on uh, Instagram. Chance Perdomo motorcycle accident. Miss Joseph is called an orgy. <laughs> I used to, I like calling the, uh, the love triangle pack. I was calling it the Menage a Trois pack, and someone on Facebook got mad at me. They were like, "It's not what it's called. It's called love triangle." Blah 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 blah. I was like, oh, "Man, some people just don't have the humor. Don't don't find it." Mark says, "Dude, leech figure out of the Indiana Jones short round figure." Yeah, that might work too because he has a little cloth jacket, so he look better. Easy Legends 480, what's going on? Says Love Octagon. <laughs> Savage Saint says, if there's a leech in Wave 3, I'm going to crap myself. Yeah, dude, they need to have leech figure. That will be dope. <laughs> Marcus, he's talking about, he didn't ask for anything. Yes, you did. You asked for that. Do my nine thousand says, leech has to make the acrylic face all the time. <laughs> <laughs> So she's like, hey, Shug, you ready to get it on? Mon ami, uh, but of course, uh, a baguette, a uh, French bread. Again, guys, what? That's Leech right there. Having to touch Rogue so that they can get it on like Donkey Kong. Wing Lou says, Mon ami, Leech, close your eyes. <laughs> Oh man, Marcus, he says I can play. I can. I can totally play Leech in the MCU. I'm bald already too. I'm like, <laughs> boom, get it on. Aha, baguette. I love the word baguette. Once I went to HUB, I know HUB, and I was like, I go, where are your baguettes of bread? And they're like, uh. What is that like a small bag? I was like, oh god. This uncultured swine. A baguette of bread is not a baggie of bread. It's not like buying a baggie of crack. It is a baguette of bread. Turns out I was at one of the ghetto HBs and they didn't have. Uh so <laughs> that was on me. Marcus, he says, I hope Toy Farce doesn't see this. I hope Toy Farce does see this. His Photoshop skills are amazing. Mr. Jones says, Mon ami, Leech, I'm about to make some ex-beignet. 
<laughs> uh, close your eyes. Yeah. Bam. Do my 9,000. That's right. Sonny Prosecutor Leeches. What's up? I just imagine Leech just like. <laughs> Boop. And then they get it on. He's like, ah. Can you imagine that? Leech is like, Leech just has to see to make sure you don't start taking powers. Marcy says again, never reach the lower volume button so quickly when you do the HGB HGB impression. (laughs) Oops. If I were Leech, that's what I would make every time I touch a, a mutant. Boop. See, we gonna lose this. He's got them big eyes too. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's right there. Uh, <laughs> uh what we're to also oh, Gambit died, right? Yeah, so that was a, that was a thing. <laughs> Mr. Jones Leech. Ooh, so that's how it works. <laughs> uh, oh. That means when Leech gets it on with somebody, they lose their powers. Can you imagine they're up there flying in the air? She's like, hey, shit. Thanks for being there for me when, before Gambit died. Leech is like, oh, Leech was okay. Leech was fine with that. She's like, hey, shit, you want to get it on in the air? And they get it on in the air. And if you know how getting it on happens, Rogue would lose her flying powers. And they would plummet to their death. That's deep. That is deep. So that's how the um, the fan fiction is going to end, basically. Uh, Leech and Rogue are going to plummet to their death. Savage Saint says their pet nickname for Leech is Po Boy. Po Boy. <laughs> Mark C says the rogue gambit leech love triangle will involve the single version of gambit 30 plus feet tall and all. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mark C says savage say no ducking way. We're going to lose the sunny got that leech down. Leech boys down. So I'm talking about. Mr. Jones, the sunny's leech in season three. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Uh, not normal. One on one says fanfic is getting complicated. <laughs> Mark C says that's deep. Basically, every A24 film made. Watch for it on Bloomhouse Productions. Do Madrasan Gorda, what's going on? Says, can we talk about how Rogue would have been like 14 when she met Magneto? Yeah, he totally Elvis Presley'd her. Like, that's not even, uh, they didn't mention that. Uh, Mr. Jones says, once you go green, the stream went off the rails quick. <laughs> It's all because of Marcus Yee uh, and Winger lose. I'm just going to call them out. It's their, it's their fault. No. Uh, yeah, dude, this totally fan fiction is going to be made. Everybody's going to be like, dang, is that is that season three? Like, sure is. But... <laughs> oh, Marcus Yee. Forgot who brought up Leech. Uh <laughs> Mag. <laughs> Mag Schneider. Oh, man. <laughs> Marcus E. claims innocence still. Uh, I brought a bleach. I said I want a leech action figure. And <laughs> that's, how, that's how that started. Uh, no, I still want a leech action figure. So I can make my uh, love triangle. Uh, I didn't even know it would be a love triangle. Now, because Love Triangle, yeah, it's still Love Triangle. Uh, hey, I did see that uh, Nickelodeon thing, though. What is it called? Uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? No, what is it? What is it called? Behind the Scenes? Rolling? Quiet on, quiet on the set. That's what it's called. I was like, I know it's something film related. <laughs> Oh man, hold on, hold on. Oh, Magneto, rogue, you have nice feet. 
<laughs> that's the first thing he touched with his magnetism <laughs> to rub your feet. Oh man. There we go, Marcy. Love rhombus. No, but I did see that show uh quiet on the set. It was pretty it was very interesting. Very uh very telling. Uh but you know what's crazy though? Because like I remember when I was little, I was like, I want to be on all that. I'm a pretty hilarious person. And my mom was like, Yeah, that's hilarious. We're poor. Never gonna happen. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Um, but like I did want to be on all that. But like, I don't know. I was taught like my parents in my upbringing, they're like, Look, man, anybody tries to touch you. You can end their life. Like that's that's just that's rules. I was like, oh, okay. Then I had to think of myself, man, how many people try to touch little kids? Like I I didn't know it because nobody tried to touch me. Uh makes sense. Uh so I, I was ready to take action if I had to. But it sucks though, because like apparently it happens a lot. It's, hopefully people get over that trauma and everything, but like I do wonder, like, I was like, man, like, if that was a situation, because, like, I've been, I was told I was uh, maybe too ghetto to do acting, and I was like, probably, because I'm not going to let anybody talk down on me, and so I wondered, I wondered, I was like, man, I was like, what if that happened to me, like, if I somehow got into show business as a kid, and that happened, what would I have done? I probably would have still been my ghetto, my ghetto self, and had to deal with it. Uh, but then it would have been like, you got to go to juvenile because you stabbed somebody. I'm like, oh, crap. So it's kind of, I don't know. It's weird. Like, that show was crazy. Like, I didn't I didn't know it was so rampant on set, the way they were doing things. But then when they started showing all the proof and stuff, I was like, oh, yeah, that's totally, totally messed up. Uh, let's see. Magneto says, bro, you're so mature for your age. <laughs> so messed up. <laughs> oh man. Wingaloo says, in the comics, could Rogue touch Magneto? I've never heard of Magneto's power allowing touching Rogue. Savage Land? Oh, it was Savage before for sure. But the Mustang Gordon like said, You're poor and brown. You would have been safe, but you wouldn't have made it past the second season. <laughs> they were probably like, oh. We don't get any of the re- he keeps making these drug references and criminal activity and gang stuff. We can't show this on Nickelodeon. That's for Cartoon Network. Like brother says, Sonny was strapped with a sharp spork. F around and find out. Dude. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with we'll go <laughs> we'll go with spork. Uh Mr. Jones says, I remember first grade our teacher gave us this printout of a story about a kid who was touched by an older kid with his funny finger. That's how it was written to each. To each us about that. What? Seven says Age of Apocalypse 2. Oh, okay. Marcy says the news of Dan and Brian Peck's behavior have been out for a while, but this is, I think, one of the first times it's been addressed in a documentary like this. It's messed up. Yeah, so that's what they were saying. It's been like that. So it's like, oh, interesting. Yeah, I know, like, uh, uh, our parents talked to us about that. They were like, hey, yeah, better than a funny toe. <laughs> what? That is weird. Funny finger. That that sounds so wrong. Like, oh, that's what Leech's power can be called. Like, if he were in Marvel vs. Capcom, what are they on four now? If they're going to make a Marvel vs. Capcom four, he could be Leech. And Leech would be like, oh, Leech attacked you with the funny finger. Huh? And then, boom, the power is zapped. That should be his powers. Leech. And funny finger power. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Mr. Jones says no. All right, let's see. Let's talk about some toys. You want to talk about some toys? I just saw this standing over there. Snake eyes. I feel like that's how he would talk if he talked. Hey guys, it's Snake Eyes. Go take down some cobras. Go, Joe. Can you imagine if Snake Eyes did that voice, sing songy all the time? That's why they cut his tongue out. I actually don't know why he doesn't talk, but 
We'll say that. <laughs> Mr. Joseph's leech got that magic stick. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I tried to sing that. Mr. Jones says, y'all going to replace the hood with Leech as the channel mascot for 2025. He might be. He might be. Uh, hey, can I show y'all something? Sure. Okay, thanks, Sonny. All right, sweet. Project. Project. Or as they say in my native tongue, a project. It's not actually my native tongue. Uh, <laughs> but oh, uh, let's see where we are. Okay, Lucky Bush is the classic Dare program teaching kids that the no nos in life. I remember when Dare brought some stuff. They're like, "Does anybody know what this is?" And people were like, "That's weed." And they're like, "Well, it's marijuana." They're like, yeah, my brother smokes it. And they're like, "What?" And they're like, "My dad smokes it sometimes." So like the police officers like, "Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa." And me, I was up there like, man. I know they gave me that number to Crime Stoppers. I'm going to call on these fools and collect my $50 real quick. But yeah, the, the the D.A.R.E. people were amazed that we pretty much knew everything that they were showing us. I was like, y'all forget where y'all were at? Lucky Bird says, don't buy those sugar cigarettes. That's a gateway candy to real drugs. Those candy cigarettes... Uh, that led me to start getting into fun dip and uh, I lost a lot of friends being on fun dip. Soon enough, I was uh, making my own fun dip out of Kool-Aid and sugar and uh, just using, using my finger because I didn't have a chalk stick to eat it with. By the way, what was that stick that was in fun dip? It's like chalk. It's like candy chalk. Mark G says, identity theft is not a joke. Not Nord 101 says, Toy, Do oh, Toy Dojo has both Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. I'm tempted to pick them up. Oh, man. Okay. All right. You're tempted? You're tempted? Let's start influencing. All right. Start influencing. So anyways, the Snake Eyes is probably a figure of the decade. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's pretty good, though. Uh... I do like it more than y'all can stay with me. y'all. Okay. I see 17 people here. I don't want to drop to like 16 because I say this, but I like the snake eyes better than the Hasbro classified series, but I still like the movie snake eyes the most. I know not the movie snake eyes, the movie snake eyes figure the most, which you can get anywhere from like eight bucks or something. Olu says, what's going on, Olu? He says, I like how Hasbro has stopped giving so much inside info lately. I'd rather have inside info that way I can use it against them later. Now, uh, but yeah, no. Shout out to the Hasbro people. I, hey, you know, people were mad online. So the Hank Pym and uh, the Wasp pack came out. People ordered it. Hasbro Pulse. Uh, and then it shipped like two, three days later. So people were receiving it last week or this past week. And people were upset. They were like, how did I just order it? And I have it now. I have to pre-order other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, man. Can y'all just not complain about something? Like, okay, you got to pre-order some things. That's because they're telling you, hey, this is coming out. You want it? Okay, cool. You can pre-order. Sometimes they'll just drop something like, hey, he just came out. Here you go. I just don't understand how you get mad that you got to figure you want it early. Weird, weird people out there. Uh, but yeah, no, it is cool. I personally think it would be cooler if they did that all the time. Well, like, because uh, Mezco does that sometimes, too. Like, all the G.I. Joe figures... Uh, were pre-orders. Destro was like a three-year pre-order, I think. Uh, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, they weren't as long. I don't know when Duke and... Yeah, when Duke is coming out. Roadblock, I heard, was a really good figure, too. I didn't get that one. I heard it was a good figure. Firefly should be coming out soon as well. 
But like then sometimes they'll do like slugfest immediate. The um Vortex suit with uh or the Vortex Gomez with the Cadet Gomez with the Vortex space suit, force suit, I forget what it's called. The mech. That was an immediate pain. It was it was coming out to you. Uh, Tommy the White Ranger was that way. I think it's cool to mix it up. Some people get mad. It's very, very bizarre behavior. The mother son Gordon, as he said, would that be too much for the Legion of Miss Jones says Legion the Hood, how to be a player too. <laughs> people not I love those candy cigarettes. Miss Jones says candy cigarettes and chewing tobacco gum pouches. Oh, oh yeah, Big League Chew. Me and my kid were just talking about those. I was like, I love Big League Chew. He was like, so did I. I can't wait till they come out candy vaping. Mark Z said, I thought you were going to say Funyuns instead of Fun Dip. Not Fun Dip was amazing. It's like crack for kids. Remadre Stan Gorda, he said, haha, I was on a $10 a day Pixie Sticks habit. That's a lot. The big plastic tube ones, those are cool. Some One of my friends taught me, if you get those big plastic tube ones and you find spiderweb, and you can do it like this in the wind, and it dusts the spider web and it comes out all colorful. It looks pretty cool. Spider probably dies, but it looks cool. Mr. Jones says, Oh man, that Kool Aid and sugar in a sandwich bag. Man, we got <laughs> from sixth grade uh, from doing that in sixth grade because teachers assumed it was drugs. Dude, that was amazing, though, right? Put the Kool Aid in there, put some sugar in there, shake it all up. I actually love doing that. Lucky Bird says, the one kid that always wanted attention for snorting pixie sticks. <laughs> You're real cool for snorting sugar. We used to do that with Smarties. Dang it, I just said we. Alright, we wouldn't think it was cool. We thought it was hilarious, but we would get the Smarties, take them out the pack, and put one down and then scrape it. And when you scrape it, it comes out like a powder, and then we would put our do our little lines and get our little razor blades and be like, oh, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, we were snoring sugar. Dang, yeah, just told on myself. I meant to say, oh, yeah, other kids did it, but I slipped up. Yeah, we did it. I was part of that group. Mr. Jones says, granted, the school was in a bad neighborhood. There was a crack house and a sex house across the street. So, yeah, we, we lived across the street from a crack house. I remember when they knocked it down, we found needles, found drugs, found bullets. I never found a gun to the bullets. That was really disappointing uh, but i found bullets all the time mr jones says i still do it occasionally only <laughs> old habits die hard <laughs> do my nine thousands mayonnaise storm shadow no 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 not mayonnaise storm shadow uh the uh movie snake eyes i thought i had them up but i have them in a box of gi joes that i have not put back on display yet Dude, my Nantan says, those people wouldn't last back in the day when toys just showed up on shelves, right? They didn't even announce that stuff. Like Butter says, I'm looking forward to Firefly, mainly to stick a Gomez on it. I didn't get the Firefly. I don't know. I kept seeing medical prices drop, and then, of course, anytime it's one of the ones that I'm like, oh, I'm going to wait for it. <laughs> it doesn't drop. It goes up in price. Olu says, bought Orchata Storm Shadow twice for the price. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he was he he was a decent figure too. Mark C says, "Have you seen the Wolverine and Spider-Man Marvel Legends leaks? The Fantastic Four one? Is that what you're talking about?" The mother son Gordon that he said that tracks. <laughs> no, but yeah, no. Uh, let's, let's pop this guy open. Every time I hear the word Storm Shadow, I think of uh, a game from back in the 90s. I always want to say it like that for some reason. Uh, speaking of ball bearings, instead of having marbles, that's what it was. But they're like, Crossfire! I always want to say Storm Shadow like that, but it's not the same. Oh, he comes with extra heads and an unmasked head. I guess if you come with a dog, you can't have an unmasked head. 
Ooh, man. People are saying that this is like a premiere figure. The mother's son Gorda, he said, Man A Storm Shadow? Yeah, Man A Storm Shadow is pretty good. But yes, it also is Orchata colored as well. Oh, the head is, has like no range on the storm. Oh, there we go. I just gave him range. Oh, guys, look at that pose. Oh, man, that's awesome pose. Now, there is sometimes, man, sometimes like I know I make goofy pictures and stuff like that. And like, I don't really have. Not nah, screw. I have to speak whatever I say, whatever I want. But like, there'll be still times people pose their action figures. And I'm like, <laughs> and they're like. They pose and they're like, oh, nobody's going to like this pick. I'm like, no, I guess not. Like, that's just, like, whenever I post something, I'm like, oh, man, not a lot of people liked it. I got my head. I'm thinking I got to improve this somehow. People were not entertained by this. How can I do more to enter to so people aren't wasting their time? I would never attack the audience like, oh, y'all don't know. You don't like this. Look, oh. Y'all don't like him and half a jumping jack? Y'all are stupid. I hate y'all. Why do y'all even follow me? Unfollow me. People get all upset. And I'm like, don't get upset. Do better. Do better for the people that follow you. Uh, Marcy says, just sent you the post and pics of the leaks. Dang it. I can't look at it right now because uh, I'm on my phone streaming because I got Windows 7. Mm. Astonishing, astonishing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have seen those leaks. The, I've seen parts, the body parts of those leaks. Uh, the winger lose to Madras Gorda. He said Mesco. Oh wait, to Madras Gorda. He's talking to you. Yes. Now this is the Mesco one. The the mayonnaise orchata colored storm shadow is still pretty good from the Snake Eyes movie. I thought I was gonna hate it. It's not a bad figure. I actually kind of like it. Not normal. One one says no butterfly joints. How well does the arms move in front of him? Uh, let's see. He has butterflies. Yeah, he has he has butterflies. It's not it's not a huge range, but he does have butterflies. So you're looking about that right there. Barely breaks that ninety degree, but it is something. Doesn't really, yeah, it's not a whole lot of range for that butterfly joint. He does have a good, it's a good slit right there. Good slit in them arms. So they go back that far with the butter, with the little minimal butterfly. Yeah. It, it barely has butterfly joints. It's like a butterfly that's not quite formed right. It's like a, not like a monarch butterfly, like one of them ugly butterflies. Unless you think all butterflies are ugly. That one. Uh, Mark C says, it's the algorithm's fault. Winger Lou says, ooh. <laughs> Snake Eyes Origins movie? Yeah, that's mayo colored. Kamada Stangoro that he said, Oh, I love that figure. Besides coming with no accessories, that was a really good wave. Not normal one one says, Nice. Like where says, I thought that was the hood head scope for a second. This is <laughs> that's kind of looked like the hood. If he wasn't yelling. Let's see. It's like if the hood was like rah, rah, rah. So I was like, calm down. Okay. All right. I'll calm down. God, that does look like it. Like that. Wait. Let me unblur my face. Or blur my face. Focus on. Yeah, that does kind of look like it. Numa Nantan says, the main superior Spider-Man suit is dope. 
but I hope they revisit the first suit at some point too. Yeah, I did. I did see those. Uh, the Wolverine leak. And oh, it would have been cool to have a. It would have been cool to have some toe hinges. I know Mexico doesn't put toe hinges, but it would have been pretty cool. All right, so let's see what these. Oh, this hooded head is. Okay. That's pretty cool. But I got to check something else real quick. If I can find it. Oh, crap. Keep rolling everywhere. Oh, let's see. Let's see. What am I going to do here? Y'all are probably wondering that yourselves. Uh, hey, it's me I'm again. Okay. Don't mind me, folks. Just looking for a spare part that I thought I had right here. Oh, you know what? Put it over there. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. We'll just try with this one. Oh, hey, by the way, OJ Simpson died. I remember that. That happened too. Uh, let's see. Wingloo says, I wonder if Mesco will re release. Storm Shadow with all white accessories for more comic book accuracy. See, I just saw the hair when you were posing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is how much that mesco set you back. You know, I do not know how much it was. I used my points, so I only paid like 15 bucks. Uh, oh, no, that looks stupid. I was going to put Vapor's head on it, but it looks dumb. All right. Terrible. Terrible experience. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm not sure how much. I, I want to say they all go for about, about 100 through the website. But yeah, like I said, I only paid like 15 bucks for it. Yeah, I had the buy points saved up. So, Imperial Monarch says, Sonny, do you like articulated icons? I saw they're making the Ninja Girl. Kagero to go with Juby from Ninja Scroll. You think that you think they worth it? Okay. I have quite a few articulated icons ninjas, but because I got them on deep clearance sales, I think forty dollars for the ninja figure that you get with the accessories. I still think it's a bit much because. The figures don't really hold their poses the best. Um, they are cool to have as like generic ninjas. If you want to buy, oh, let me make this fight scene with a bunch of ninjas. When I was getting them, they were like eight to eleven dollars a piece or something like that. That I thought was pretty good. Twenty dollars might be pushing it for those figures. Um, their hands are some of the weakest hands that I've seen, they don't really stay on very well or they swivel too much. Um, it's like they got like overly lubricated wrist or something. Their newer figures, I probably won't touch personally. I didn't go with any, for any of the um, skeletons that they made either. Um, but it's just because I think they're I think they're almost there. They're almost there. I don't think they're worth the 40 bucks, though. They do come with a lot of accessories. I give them that, but I just don't think they're worth the 40. Lucky Butter says, are you going to grab the 60th anniversary G.I. Joe classified Desert Soldier? It basically got the same amount of accessories as a Masco. I don't think so. 
I saw it. I saw it at Target. I think that was when I saw Target. That's the one with the cloak, right? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna get that one. Especially since I just got these two uh, GI Joes from Mezco. I think I'm good for right now on some of those. I didn't get a uh, was it Junkyard? I didn't get him either. There's a few GI Joes that I've recently passed up on. Olu says, I think I'm going to grab the 60th anniversary if I see it in the wild. I, if, this, that, if that's the one I'm thinking, yeah, it's, I've seen it in the wild. I took pictures of it. I put it in a reel on Instagram. I think that that's the one. But yeah, I don't I don't think. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Dumont 9000 says, I haven't seen anyone talk about OJ's passing. I only bring it up because unfortunately, Oh, Savage Saint says both 60s are pickles for, are solid pickles for the money. Uh, I didn't ever, I never met OJ Simpson, but I did do a TV show that was hosted by Cato Kalen, which if you're familiar with the OJ Simpson trial, he was the supposed witness that saw everything or heard stuff. He is a very annoying person. Uh, I don't care if he ever sees this. He was annoying on set. He's trying to make people laugh and he was not funny. And then he. I said something that triggered him to think of a joke and he made me re say it so he could get this joke off. And the joke was terrible. I was like, oh, man, I just need to stop talking around Kato Kalen. Marcy says all memes, though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they were memes of expired orange juice. Which is kind of messed up. Uh, but those hit pretty fast. Dumont 9000 says, I had almost forgotten, but remembered after rewatching the Naked Gun movies the other day. Yeah, he was he was in was he in all of them? I know he's in the first one. Dumont does not go over that. He said the skeleton was amazing. I don't know why they look too thick in pictures, but I wish they had I wish I had bought an army of them. They just took almost 1.5 years since pre-order. See, I'm okay with the long pre-orders. Like I don't mind that. But those were pretty. Those were pretty pricey too. Were like about forty bucks, right? I think they like that forty dollar price tag. Like Bush says, yep, it does have that cloth goods in it. Yeah, I saw it. I don't think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass. But now Savage Saint said that don't pass. So now he's confusing me, playing on my emotions. Like Butter says, Foosh Ninjas are definitely odd. Great for the five dollars to eleven dollar price point. But odd tension and plastic for forty dollars plus. That's that's for my thing. And plus, like the hands peel. I'm like the hands are painted. They peel. It's very bizarre. But I did find that the hands fit on Mesco wrist pegs. So there's that. If you want un you know ungloved hands for a Mesco figure. Modest and Gordo Adi said, I think Cato Kalen was in a Skinamax movie. Probably. He was like a struggling actor or something like that at one point. Dumba Nata says, Mark Z, I haven't seen any of the memes either. I follow a bunch of uh, football pages, and so they were posting memes about him. Impaler the Monarch says, Man, I missed out on the waves of icons ninjas from to make customs from the parts for me. It's going to cost even to get my feet wet for the parts to make a juby, it'll be more than a new one. So that is one thing. Yeah, I did see that they had that Ninja Scroll figure. If you like Ninja Scroll, go for it. But yeah, I, I was not impressed with the quality of the of the Foosh Ninjas. Cole says, back in the day, I used to collect pre-orders. It was shameful. <laughs> Man, I used to work at GameStop and had to get pre-orders from people. Hey, you want to pre-order Madden 2008? You know, it's going to come out in uh, 07. Yeah, it was it was pretty weird. Pretty bizarre. Hey, let me see. Uh, I like Mad School the way they package their stuff, but sometimes they package it too well. I'm like, sometimes I just want to get right to it, but I can't. You know, sometimes they pack some accessories. I'm like, I really didn't need all these. I almost said the wrong word. What is it called? Shurikens. 
shurikens. There's two mastheads for Storm Shadow, but I don't know the difference is. I guess one he looks more angry than the other. Saberstein says, I grew up on Joe's, so I'm a little biased. I grew up with like eight G.I. Joe's. And one I found out wasn't even a real G.I. Joe, some knockoff. Oh, okay. So you do get two Storm Shadow expressions in the mask. See that there? You get angry Storm Shadow and then slightly less angry Storm Shadow. Those are pretty good head sculpts, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I don't know why I would lie. Mesco doesn't pay me to do this yet. The day that Mesco starts paying me is the day I will lie for whatever they tell me. I can be like, yeah, Storm Shadow talks. Mesco will be like, thanks. Thanks for getting that out there. I'm like, no problem, Mesco. Keep sending me free stuff. I appreciate that. Tomato Sangorta dice, it was more. Then the Foosh had a pre-order. It's more that the Foosh, Foosh had a pre-order first, then released the non-pre-order skeletons, and then six months later the pre-order was released. That was weird. Uh, when they released all those uh, con exclusive ones, that was very bizarre. Oh, Mark Z, thanks for spelling out for me. Shuri, Black Panther, Ken's Barbie, <laughs> meet me, Ken's Barbie. Yeah, this is a man, it's a pretty cool storm shadow. Now, Olu, if you do look for the storm shadow, man, I don't know because Destro dropped probably about twenty to thirty dollars in price. Um, what did the Joe's did they bring? Roadblock, I never saw him drop in price, which sucks because I was like, oh, he'll drop. And then he didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, guess I'm not getting him. To the right hand. Nope. Can't. There we go. Um. What? Hold up. I got too many of this fist. And I got any. I think I, I think they gave me two of the same exact fist. Can you see that? I have to go back to the website and look because why do I have two of the same type of fist? I'm gonna hit up Mesco. They're gonna be like, send us, we're gonna send you that fist, send us back for that other fist. Which I got no issues doing that. I want to make sure I have the right parts, but I'm definitely gonna have to check that out tomorrow. Sure, you can. Says do my nine thousand. All right, put these swords in the pants. Question: If y'all had two swords, one was longer than the other, which hand would you have the longer sword in? Your dominant hand or your non-dominant hand? Personally, me, I'll put in my non-dominant hand. That's a weaker hand, so I'm gonna need a bigger sword to make it scarier for people. I like this. Pose may not look that cool, but I still like it. What? Oh, oh, let's see. Y'all really respond to my questions. Uh, I was hearing a lot of that lately. Lots of turtles had double heads. Yeah, that was a big issue. People were like, um, Ending up other like people were like, oh, I got two of these Donnie heads. And someone was like, I got two of these Mikey heads. And they'd be like, oh. Oh, we were made for each other. You want to swap? They're like, yeah. I was like, oh, so romantic. Can't wait for Hallmark to make that movie. 
Cyber Snake says, how's the timber that came with that mezcal snake? Um, I, I, it's, I don't think it's much. Or I haven't messed with it a whole lot. But I don't think it's very much better than the Hasbro version. That's me, though. I don't. I didn't think it was that much of a step up. Mark C says the dominant hand with the long sword. Really? I'll go weak hand. Hoping that somehow gravity helps me swing it harder. Olu says still haven't pulled the trigger on a mezco. That Ghost Rider had me had me looking though. The new Ghost Rider with the blue suit. Ah, oh, that one looked dope. But I don't want to spend that kind of money on a Ghost Rider. But that blue suit looked fly. That's what we used to say back in the 90s. It looks fly. looks tight. Mark C says, almost said, dominant sword with the longer hand. <laughs> Lucky but it says, short sword syndrome. There you go. <laughs> the mother's not going to the snapping head. A love story. Sw- swapping head. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, this is interesting. The way his uh, what is that? Can y'all see that? It's like three pieces in there, inside the joint there. That's weird. Don't know why they went with that, but they did. I don't know if y'all could see that inside there. It's three layers of elbow. <laughs> Me, stupid. I was gonna look in snake eyes, but he's a bodysuit. Can't see. That is kind of weird that they went with that. Has it been like that this whole time? I've never noticed because I don't ever take the clothes off. That didn't sound right. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's been like that this whole time. Doom by 9000 says, Doom was my first Mezco. Not sure if I'll get another. Nothing wrong with Mezco, just not my usual style. They photograph so nicely. That's why I like Mezco. And they got a ton of accessories. Like, if you ever priced accessories compared to what you would have to pay individually for them, I think they're well worth the price. Um, of course, not for everybody. Like, I will say that. I will, I will give you that. But I do like the Mescos. And one day when they're paying me to tell you how good they are, I will say even better things about Mescos. But yeah, they are nice. And I like that most of them you can swap pretty easily. Um, some of them have slightly bigger ball pegs for the neck. Um, but for the most part, you can swap them pretty easily. Their heads and stuff. Olu says that Storm Shadow is nice. Too nice for my shelf. He'd be out of place. <laughs> yeah, he's he's definitely nice, dude. Like, if you love Storm Shadow as a character, this is the one to get. I have the other one. And, you know, I will be honest. Everybody was putting this as, like, their top figure and stuff. I didn't. I didn't have it anywhere near the top figure. Let's see. Oh, look, he has. I put swords in his hands too. All right. So let's let's do a little quick comparison here, and I'll probably be getting off here in a few minutes because I would like to sleep sometime. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's the two differences right there. I don't know, man. This one. This one feels good. This one I first got it. I was like, ah, this storm shadow, cool. But this one, I do like this one. Do my nine thousand says you're just saying that because they made a figure of you. Ah, maybe. <laughs> Mark C says I don't know who else should Mexico cover for GI Joe. Aside from Cobra Commanders, Scarlet, and Baroness, but their female figures aren't that great. Zartan, maybe. 
Uh, of course, of course, I'm going to want them to do Serpentor. Uh, I think it'll look cool. Serpentor will be cool. Uh, Destro's all right. I thought it was going to be cool. With the, it, I like the face sculpts that they gave us. Um, you know what? Uh, a bat, a cobra bat. I bet Mezco would kill it with the accessories. Zartan, yeah, I guess they'll put a lot of faces with them. Lucky Bush says, I thought you didn't like that Storm Shadow. Should he go next to Moffat's Spider Man for you? Yeah, he's not that great. That, that other Storm Shadow is not that great. I prefer the male Storm Shadow over that one. I said it, so I said it. The Mazda Stank World, as you say, I wish Mesco would update their female bug. I have not got a female Mesco figure as of yet. I'm afraid because everybody's like, oh, they're terrible. They break. Like, oh, eesh, don't want that to happen. Cyber Saint says you can use Jackie Vaporoni as a leech standing. Oh, that's true. I could he use Vapor? He does. He feels like a Morlock. Maybe I'll put Krillin's head on that body. <laughs> that's a good point. Very good point. Could do that. Uh, yeah, no, I just, I don't know. I don't like the Storm Shadow that much. Uh, Mark C says Cobra Bat. Any of the Cobra Foot Soldier could be dope. I'd say the Cobra Bat because, like I said, I mean, they, I could see them putting all kinds of uh, attachments for it. Why <laughs> does LOL back to Leech talk? <laughs> oh man, when that's when that love triangle comes out with Leech, y'all are gonna be like, oh, that's the one. Die Krillin's head green. <laughs> that's all I gotta do to make him ball. You know, I wonder if. How easy it is to knock off that flocking off of a uh, vaporoni's head. And he has a little a little beanie too, I think. The mother son Gorda he said, I have the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad. It's basically five points of articulation. Ugh. It's the same buck they used all the way up to Sue Storm. Dang it. Oh says now now I gotta look at this mescal. This is bad. Yeah. Dude, this is yeah. This Storm Shadows is he's pretty dope, man. But I, I do. I love the stand for the Cobra figures. That one came with Destro as well. All those hands. I'm basically uh, this is a commercial for Mesco to oh, straight to Olu at this point. All the tiny accessories. So many, so many accessories. Every now and then you can find people that buy the mask and sell them for at retail or a little bit below. Just because they don't want them after all. Marcus G says, I think the figure Sleepwalker, the head is close to Leech. Hmm. I'm up trying to think what other could he sleech. Doomba Nathan says the Peter body from the net. Oh, that's right. The Peter body from the net and Peter two pack might work for leech. True. Modest on Gordon, he said, don't start with Mesco. It's you just can't go back. <laughs> Olu says Mesco Schiller. That's right. So I'm waiting, waiting for the day that they're like sunny. Thank you for showing our product without us even asking you to do so. Uh, how would you like to become a partner? I'm, oh my goodness. I'm already working on my crying face. You always got to fan the eyes. Sabbath Saint says, just put a hoodie on them. Don't destroy the thing. <laughs> I'm just going to ruin the whole thing. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So. Vaporoni with the hoodie. Get my love triangle story going. I like these ideas that everybody's throwing out there. I appreciate y'all. Me and Marcus E appreciate all the ideas on how to get a leech figure. What is this piece? No. But oh, 
what are we at the two minute mark or two minute mark two hour mark it's amazing i appreciate everybody tuning in uh gonna go and hop off now make sure my dogs are out before i go to bed i gotta get up early in the morning still gotta work because youtube was only gonna give me eight cents for this live stream uh, because of content <laughs> because of limited what is it limited monetization that's what we got it uh <laughs> marcus he says keep my name out of your mouth out of this hot dog neck buffoon man marcus you coming out swinging <laughs> And President Monarch says, I'm going to make custom crystal from Inhumans. I'm able to fix the hands, those icon ninjas tempting with those parts. You can make Ryu from uh, Ryu from Ninja Gaiden or Shinobi from the old Nintendo video games. That That is the one thing. The Black Ninja one, I think, was probably a little bit better quality than like the green, purple, brown. And the white was, the, yeah, it wasn't the best quality either. But the Black Ninja was so expensive. Like, Actually, I didn't pay a lot for it. I still got that one at a deep sale price, but it stayed more expensive for longer than the other ones. Uh, but yeah, Mark C says, catch you though on the next one. Catch thou on the next one. But yeah, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Shout out to Savage Saint for throwing out those um, channel member passes. Uh, whoever got them, dope. Uh, I don't know how they activate. I don't, I don't know how it works. But uh, we'll put more content out here soon. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Got that other video that popped out of uh, SH Figuarts, Sun, Dragon Ball GT Son Goku. If I said that right. Uh, that's a neat little figure. Uh, if you're looking for small characters, they do make them. Uh, do my nine down says, fun stream as always, Sunny. Catch you on the next one. I appreciate y'all. Uh, let's do a run through real quick. We got Impaler Monarch, Dumont 9000, Marcus Yee, uh, Olu, Savage Saint, Dumont of Slan Gorda. Uh, let's see. Did I say Dumont 9000? I think so. Nam 101 was here. Uh, Clockwork Gorgy was here. Lucky Butter. Uh, Marcus Yee, uh, Mr. Jones. What else do we have here? Oh, Matt Logic 44 was here. I think Mark Rose, I think I saw you earlier. In the in the chat, uh, Obi Wan Chingones, appreciate all y'all coming through. Winger lose as always. Uh, thank you for reminding us that Rogue can have relations with Gambit. Um, do my nine thousand says hit the like button, share the stream, y'all. He said that not me. I appreciate him saying that though. Uh, have a great week, everyone. Says Lucky Butter. Yes, have a great week, everyone. Uh, can't wait for the Marvel Legends team to announce our Leech figure. Um, it's going to be great. Then we can finally get Gambit Rogue uh, together. Shout out to Forge. Keep being creepy. Uh, Gambit, RIP. For now, for now, for now. But I thank you, everyone, for watching again. Uh, see you in two weeks. Dos semanas for the Spanish speakers. Uh, but yeah, have a great night. And uh, I feel like I should tell you something like inspirational for the live stream ends, but I never know anything inspirational to say. But hey, don't get arrested, I guess. That's probably the best I got. All right. We'll see y'all next time in two weeks. But again, Got some other content coming. Savage Saint threw that out there. So God, I got to go make some channel member content. So that'll come out to here pretty soon as well. See you all next time.